Not only can I see traffic and weather, but I can see the same traffic and weather that I'm talking to the air traffic controller with. When we first got ADSB, we were blown away. It was almost a little scary. Look at all these airplanes out here. ADSB is the future of, uh, of aviation. It is the future in the national airspace system. It really provides an unprecedented level of situational awareness for a general aviation pilot that wasn't available before. With the introduction of Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, or ADSB, the future of flight has arrived. With much greater accuracy than radar, ADSB is not only providing air traffic controllers with a revolutionary new way to track aircraft in the national airspace system, it's also introducing unprecedented situational awareness in the cockpit. Here's how it works. A GPS receiver aboard the aircraft determines that aircraft's exact position. Avionics then combine that data with the aircraft ID, as well as information on course, speed, and altitude. That data is then continuously broadcast to other ADSB-equipped aircraft flying in the area. The information is also broadcast to a network of ADSB ground stations, which in turn feed controller displays and other ATC technologies, such as airport surface monitoring systems. But for general aviation, that's just the beginning of the story. The FAA is now offering pilots free traffic and weather information known as ADSB Broadcast Services. With no subscription fees, ADSB Broadcast Services bring traffic and weather information directly into the cockpits of properly equipped aircraft. There are two categories of ADSB Broadcast Services Traffic Information Service Broadcast, or TISB, and Flight Information Service Broadcast or FISB. TISB takes the radar data that's being seen by controllers and pipes it back out through the ADSB ground stations to aircraft displays. So the pilot of a properly equipped aircraft is seeing the same traffic picture that controllers are seeing. That's going to help pilots visually acquire other aircraft more easily. TISB provides an aircraft with traffic information within a 15 mile radius plus or minus 3500 feet. And since ADSB broadcasts air to air, even if you fly out of range of a ground station, you'll still have a clear picture of other similarly equipped ADSB aircraft operating in your vicinity. Being able to see those aircraft is a great capability, particularly flying in areas where the radar coverage is not real great and also in and out of non-controlled airports. It was on the Women's Airways Classic two years ago. We had our ADSB on and we seen that they were descending and all of a sudden they were like 200 feet above us, right on top of us and probably would have descended right into us if we hadn't have diverted our course. So it saved my life. FISB is actually a collection of services that brings both graphical and textual real-time weather into the cockpit, as well as other information, such as NOTAMs, SIGMETs, pilot reports, and the current status of special use airspace. In total, there are 12 products available to pilots with aircraft equipped for FISB, again, absolutely free to the user. For a pilot, it is very important to have as much information and up-to-date in the cockpit as possible, and FISB provides that. So it provides you both graphical and textual uh, weather information that may not be available otherwise uh, while you're in flight. Flying here along the coast in the summertime, we have a lot of convection activities, a lot of clouds develop later in the afternoon. The FISB had allowed us to see a picture of the location and the intensity of the precipitation, and it gives us an idea of where we should head in order to avoid that, that weather that's moving in into the area. The FAA has issued a final ADSB out rule mandating that by 2020, you'll need to be equipped to broadcast your position to the ADSB network to fly in most controlled airspace pretty much everywhere you need a transponder today. Pilots who opt to equip with the full transmit and receive capability, however, will have the advantage. So what do you need to install on your aircraft to take advantage of broadcast services? First off, you'll need a GPS receiver and what's known as a Universal Access Transceiver, or UAT, operating at 978 megahertz. The UAT both broadcasts your position to the network and receives transmissions from other ADSB equipped aircraft and ADSB ground stations. Some UATs already have the GPS receiver built in. The UAT is in addition to your regular transponder, which you'll still need to interact with radar, which will become a backup to ADSB. That's assuming you're a piston aircraft flying below 18,000 feet. Aircraft flying above 18,000 feet will need to equip with 1090 megahertz avionics to be seen on the network. 
While Tisby information is available on this frequency, 1090 lacks the bandwidth necessary for the graphical weather offered by FISB. You'll also need an antenna. You might be able to share your existing transponder antenna and save on installation costs. Finally, you'll need a multifunction cockpit display capable of receiving and displaying broadcast services information. The good news is that you may have some elements of the equipment you'll need for ADSB already on board your aircraft. Right now in the United States, thousands of GA aircraft are already equipped with moving map displays. Our hope is that some of these can be paired with a UAT to receive broadcast services. The FAA recently finalized the revised technical standards for ADSB equipment, paving the way for manufacturers to begin providing certified avionics. As manufacturers start producing that equipment in the coming years, we expect that prices will become competitive. Broadcast services are already available in many parts of the United States. Right now, we have ground stations broadcasting TISB and FISB information up and down the East Coast and along the Sun Belt, with Upper Midwest and West Coast stations coming online throughout the year. Nationwide coverage will be in place by 2013. For the latest information on when broadcast services are due in your area, visit us on the web. The TISB and the FISB and the capabilities brought to us by ADSB are phenomenal. Uh, I think once you've flown with them, you'll start looking for ways to equip your aircraft. Traffic and weather together in the cockpit. Increased situational awareness. Greater peace of mind. ADSB Broadcast Services. The future of flight has arrived.